welcome back. And again, this is Usua Mindanao. It's been a few months that we were not able to air live on television. And uh, this time, we are very much happy to feature one of the top leaders in the country. And uh, again, this is the Islamic city of Marawi. So this time, we do have the Honorable Attorney Mahul U. Gandamra. Good morning, Mayor. How are you? Good morning. Uh, magandang uh, umaga po sa, ating, uh, sa atong tanan, mayong buntag sa aninyo tanan, sa atong mga taga-paminaw. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All right, so thank you very much, Mayor, for being here live on our studio for Uswag Mindanao. So, sabi ko kanina, Mayor, mapapasabak ako kasi I'm not good in Tagalog. But <laughs> basically, I'll really try my best for us to uh, also entertain our viewers, uh, so mga kapatid nating Muslim sa Marawi. And also, I'd like to say hi to my friends, my Maranao friends who's watching over. Uh, they're from Iligat to Zamil Makabangkit and to all of my Maranao friends there in Marawi. And of course, to all of the supporters of our dear Mayor Gandamra. So, Mayor, uh, let's proceed to our first question. Uh, this is going to be an exclusive interview regarding the progress of your of your city. So, this time we do have our first question. Uh, bilang ama ng Marawi City, ano ba ang inyong pangarap at mga plano para sa inyong mga nasasakupan? Uh, maraming salamat po. Uh, alam niyo noong bago akong umupo, marami akong pangarap para sa aking syudad. Uh, gusto natin na uh, maging uh, um, umulad ang ating ekonomiya at uh, gusto natin na uh, mag-coexist with our uh, neighboring uh, cities and uh, localities so that we can also invite them to invest in our uh, city. Alam po, alam po ninyo, napakaganda po ang Marawi. Ang ating klima doon ay napakaganda at uh, maraming potentials po so that uh, we, would we would like to uh, invite our uh, uh, neighboring uh, cities and other localities na mag-invest sa amin sa Marawi City. But because of the uh, what had happened uh, last May 23, 2017, medyo naudlot ang ating uh, uh, pagbangon sa Marawi. But uh, be that as it may, uh, nandito po tayo uh, with the help of the national government and other uh, humanitarian uh, agencies ay uh, ngayon ho ay nakikita natin yung ating mga uh, mga pangarap sa ating siyudad na uh, despite the uh, challenges that uh, we faced ay uh, nakikita natin na parang uh, yung uh, is slowly you know uh, uh, surviving and of course uh, developing and uh, yun po ang ating uh, pangarap sa ating siyudad at uh, magkaroon po ng uh, Katahimikan, so that uh, our uh, friends uh, outside Marawi City can go there and uh, peacefully coexist with our uh, constituents at uh, mag-invest po sa amin. At napaganda po ng Marawi, uh, ito po ay uh, potential na uh, turismo sa ating uh, dito sa Mindanao. Alright, thank you for that, Mayor. So, uh, for the second question, Mayor, kumpara sa mga nakaraang taon, or uh, shall we say nakaraang mga administration ng Marawi City. Ano ba ang mga kaibahan sa sa siyudad mo ngayon? Sa so ngayon po uh, after the siege, no immediately after the siege, we uh, started the uh, uh, of course yung ating uh, pagtulong sa ating mga constituents na na-displace. Uh, marami ho tayong uh, marami hong pinatayo ang ating gobyerno ng mga uh, shelters and other uh, of course the uh, infrastructures uh, nakikita ho natin no? uh, with all the respect doon sa mga naunang uh, mga taon and the previous administrations nakita ho natin yung kumpiyansa ngayon ng mga tao na mag-invest lalo na ho ang ating mga constituents uh, na dati po ay uh, doon ho sila nangangalakal doon ho sila nag-engage uh, sa business outside Marawi City even uh, as far as uh, Metro Manila pero sa ngayon po because of this uh, pandemic ay nagsibalikan na ho sa Marawi City and they started, you know, they started investing in our own uh, city and as evidence thereof uh, kung ang uh, magiging uh, comparison, comparison is that the uh, uh, yung ating uh, collection local, uh, ng local taxes ay umangat, umangat ay talagang napakalaking uh, kaibahan sa ngayon po ay uh, uh, lumalaki po ang ating uh, local revenue because of the, of course, because of the infusion of the investment uh, from our uh, 
constituents uh, na bumalik sa Marawi City. Nakita ho natin, nag proliferate yung ating mga businesses, business establishment, and I think uh, you've gone there. Nakita mo yung uh, development, and of course, uh, together with the uh, reconstruction and rehabilitation of the most affected areas. So, yan po ang uh, uh, malaking kaibahan dahil uh, bumalik po ang kumpiyansa ng mga tao na sila po ay mamumuhunan sa Marawi without any fear of, uh, you know, uh, na magkakaroon na naman ng uh, gulo. So, wala hong uh, ngayon, uh, because of the, probably because of the support also of the national government and the presence of the uh, security forces na kung saan nami-maintain natin ang uh, peace and order sa ating uh, lugar. Very nice, Mayor. And you're right. Uh, it was actually my first time to visit Marawi City when I was there. I think that was like a week or two weeks ago. Yeah. And I was actually very amazed that uh, when I went to Ground Zero, and thank you, by the way, for this, for your staff who accompanied us, um, there are lots of progress developments that's actually ongoing on screen. Uh, by the way, for our viewers, uh, makikita niyo ang mga progress, ang mga projects ni Mayor uh, Mahul for the city. So it is really uh, true that uh, it is a, pro uh, a prospect for progress and a good spot as well for, for tourism. And uh, also, Mayor, sa kabila ng pandemia, you mentioned earlier that you do have some investors or locals, Maranao, who are already investing in Marawi. But aside from those people, may iba ka pa bang targets for Marawi City to grow more? Uh, of course, we want uh, our, uh, sabi ko sa inyo, we want our neighboring cities and even outside uh, Mindanao. In fact, uh, uh, sa ating inisyatibo, tayo po ay uh, sumulat sa ating mga business sector sa Manila, the uh, Manila business sector, sumulat po tayo nagsagadon, to entice them na uh, mag-infuse ng investment dito sa Mindanao, lalo na ho dito sa Marawi City, nagsagadon sila po ay makatulong doon sa ating pagbangon. And uh, rest assured that uh, your investment will not be wasted. As I've said, malaki na ho ang pagbabago dito sa Marawi City in terms of peace and security because of the probably because of the uh, support of the uh, national government through the security sectors and of course ang ating mga kababayan sa Marawi City ay uh, uh, hindi na ho nila hayaan na maulit yung mga nangyaring hindi kanais-nais noong mga unang panahon dahil uh, sila mismo ay naging uh, uh, living witness doon sa mga pinagdaanan nating kahirapan for several uh, years so we, of course we will not allow that and uh, the government will not allow that to so, kaya po ako ay uh, nananawagan sa ating mga kababayan, lalo na po ang ating mga uh, kababayan outside Marawi City, na ngayon po ay uh, handa po kaming tumanggap ng uh, mga, uh, mga businessman na uh, mga gusto mag-invest dito. Dahil uh, dito po sa Marawi, malaki ho ang potential at uh, we can uh, probably uh, exploit the, uh, you know, the natural resources uh, na nandito ho sa Marawi City and Lano del Sur. That is indeed very true, Mayor. Uh, when we were able to tour around the city, marami akong nakita ng magandang spots. And then I noticed as well that um, there are lots of restaurants, Mayor, that's already uh, an operation. So that's very nice. So it's uh, there was one uh, overlooking restaurant we were able to visit. So that's one thing. I think that's one of the features that you have. And then the weather of, of Marawi, rather, is also very nice. It's very cold. Yeah. Also the lake, the yes. lake Lanao. Yeah, we were able po. to uh, view those uh, spots that you have. And then, Mayor, next question that we have here. Um, I think you already mentioned about the peace and order system. So I witnessed as well na for, for the people around, uh, very normal. Parang walang nangyari years ago, like 2017. Yeah. So I think, or I'd like to invite everyone to all of our viewers as well, that it's really safe this time to explore and visit Marawi. So do you have something to add more about peace and order? Para naman, uh, our, like for example, we do have tourists that would like to visit Marawi. So they can be a confident mayor to enter your city in case. Yes, uh, gaya ng sinabi ko nina, in terms of uh, peace, and, peace and order sa ating lugar ay may uh, manapakalaking pagbabago ho. In fact, for uh, three consecutive years, ang ating uh, uh, city police ay uh, tumanggap ng award because of the, of course, because of the uh, uh, efficient and effective uh, enforcement of uh, 
uh, laws, no? Uh, ating mga ordinansa at uh, ang uh, pag-secure sa mga tao in terms of uh, yung mga possibilities na mayroong mga hindi ka nais na uh, ginagawa doon. So, you know, just like in any other uh, localities, uh, um, may mga nangyayari mga isolated cases. And those are isolated cases na pwede rin mangyari dito sa Cagayan de Oro, pwede rin mangyari sa Iligan or in Manila. But uh, ang pinaka-importante po ang ating mga ang alagad ng ating batas, uh, ating local government, ang ating mga security forces are uh, working together to uh, maintain uh, the, the, the peace and order situation in our uh, locality. Yun ang pinaka-importante na wala ho tayong uh, pinoprotektaan ng mga masasamang tao so that uh, ang ating mga kababayan, especially yung ating mga bisita, yung gusto mag-invest, uh, ay uh, magkaroon ng kumpiyansa na ang kanilang uh, gobyerno, lalo na ho ang lokal na pamalaan, ay uh, hindi yun natin nahayaan na mayroong mangyari sa kanila, lalo na ho sa kanilang mga uh, investment uh, dito ho, sa, uh, doon ho sa Marawi City. So as you can see, marami na ho tayong mga establishment. Uh, we are now uh, building uh, a big uh, public market uh, inside the Ground Zero. And uh, also, we also have, uh, we just uh, completed uh, a uh, big market outside the Ground Zero. So ito yung mga potential na maaaring uh, mag- uh, invest ang ating mga kababayan sa Marawi City as well as those who are intending to uh, invest uh, in Marawi City na galing sa ibang lugar. That's right. So again to all of our viewers, uh, rest assured Marawi City is really peaceful uh, this time. Especially I was able to visit uh, the said city weeks ago or days ago and thank you mayor for the opportunity for uh, having the opportunity to tour around Ground Zero, how beautiful the projects that you are actually having this time. And for sure, one of these days, Mayor, um, makikita yan ng mga constituents mo, they will be happy with the progress and the projects na tinataguyod ng yung administration. And this time, Mayor, I'd like to ask as well, para sa mga kapatid nating mga Muslim, ano pa bang yung mga plano, especially uh, in time of the election, Mayor? Uh, sa ngayon po ay... Uh... Focus po tayo doon sa rehabilitation and reconstruction ng Marawi City dahil especially ho doon sa most, most affected areas which, which are the 24 barangays kung saan yun ho ang central business district. So yun ho ang focus natin. Uh, of course, uh, the election is nearing but uh, my focus is that uh, I want to see to it that uh, before, uh, you know, before uh, the end uh, the ter uh, before the end of the term of the president ay makita natin na yung development na nangyayari ngayon sa Marawi City ay uh, matatapos uh, so that our people who were displaced can go back and start also rebuilding their uh, private properties especially so that uh, uh, the, with the uh, passage of this uh, compensation bill i would like to thank of course the uh, the honorable honorable members of the uh, uh, House of Representatives for the uh, support that uh, they, uh, of course, uh, they have given. Na pumasa na ho sa ikatlong uh, pagbasa on third reading ang ating uh, compensation bill that will uh, uh, give compensation doon sa ating mga kababayan na nasiraan ng kanila mga pamamahay. And that can help really in, in uh, fast-tracking the uh, rebuilding uh, and reconstruction of Marawi City. Not only the uh, public infrastructures, but as well as the private uh, properties that was uh, destroyed as a result of the siege. So you know ang ating ginagawa, nakikita po natin sa mga footages. In fact, kung mayroon pa po mga footages na hindi na siguro na forward dito, so napakalaki yung uh, development na nangyayari sa Marawi City. I would like to uh, uh, of course uh, inform, enlighten the public na uh, pwede po natin makita. In fact, you have gone there and makikita mo kung ano yung uh, sabay-sabay na mga ginagawang infrastructure sa ating uh, lugar. That is intended, of course, for the uh, homecoming of our constituents, especially doon sa 24 barangay. So that uh, pagbalik nila, ay ready ready na po ang, ang, ang kanilang uh, uh, babalikan. Thank you for that, Mayor. So again, to all of our viewers, it is really safe this time to visit the city of Marawi. And also, next question here, Mayor, uh, for tourism. Uh, mainly, you were able to discuss about the uh, Round Zero rehabilitation. So, how about for tourism? Do you have any any specific plans to improve more about the tourism uh, the tourism side? 
isa, isa po yan sa ating bibigyan ng uh, focus yung tourism dahil napakaganda po ng mga uh, scenery sa ating lugar, no? ang ating mga natural resources. Makita po natin yung Lake Lanao, isa po yan sa ating uh, pinagmamalaki. Kailangan lang po natin uh, exploit, explore uh, kung ano pa ang mga potensyal na maaari natin gagawin doon sa ating lugar, especially ang ating mga natural resources. Uh, in fact, right now, we are uh, constructing a promenade uh, doon ho sa gilid ng Lake Canal. That is a 2.4 uh, or 2.7 uh, uh, kilometers uh, promenade. At yun po ay uh, pwede nating uh, maging uh, isa sa ating tourist attraction. And then we also are now uh, constructing a uh, big uh, sports stadium doon mismo sa Ground Zero near the promenade and as well as uh, yung ating convention center na kung saan magagamit ito hindi lang ho ng mga taga Marawi as well as the other municipalities within the province of Lanao del Sur. And we are also now uh, constructing a memorial park uh, uh, and restoring the result park as well as other uh, you know, mga, yung mga historical uh, site sa ating lugar, nire-restore natin. Yung mga masjid, yung mga mosque, makikita ko natin. I, I think you, you have yes, also yeah. seen these uh, uh, beautiful structures, yung mga masjid, because this is very important uh, in our, uh, uh, you know, uh, lives, itong uh, mga masjid na ito, because uh, ito po yung uh, nag-equate sa ating, uh, you know, ating pamumuhay bilang isang uh, maranao, bilang isang muslim, because Islam is peace, Kailangan ho natin na uh, strengthen pa ang ating uh, paniniwala dahil uh, yung mga nangyari ho ay maaaring uh, nagkakaroon ho ng uh, you know, uh, wrong narratives na naipapasa natin doon sa ating mga kabataan. So that's the reason why you have to strengthen our, uh, you know, uh, yung ating paniniwala na ang, uh, ang ating uh, pamumuhay ay dapat uh, it should be uh, you know, founded by uh, itong uh, uh, peaceful coexistence with our uh, you know uh, our uh, uh, people and uh, as well as our neighboring uh, uh, our neighbors so yun po ang uh, napakaimportante po yun that's right thank you for that mayor and uh, by the way mayor my technical team right here my usuwag mindanao family is also very excited probably one of these days we will we can feature marawi city and we can like create more documentaries about the progress the rehabilitation so, sabi nila, Mayor, saan mo, daw, saan mo daw sila dadalhin in case da, pupunta kami doon? Marami tayong uh, pwedeng pagdalhan sa kanila, no? Kasi na, yung sabi ko nga sa'yo, marami tayong ginagawa mga uh, tourist, uh, you know, destinations na uh, ngayon dinedevelop natin. Hindi lang ho yung mga nakita natin doon, kundi mayroon talagang uh, uh, naturally nandoon na sa Marawi City. It's just a matter of uh, uh, exploiting, exploring this, uh, the, the potentials of this uh, scenery. So doon natin sila dadalhin. Uh, marami ho tayong uh, maaring uh, ipagmalaki sa ating mga kababayan. And uh, very important, nga ho, babalikan ko, na ang ating uh, peace and order sa Marawi City ay uh, uh, bumabalik na ho sa uh, normal. And uh, thanks to, the, uh, to our security forces and our community because of their uh, participation and the, the support that they are now showing to our uh, to the administration. So napakadami po ng mga infrastruktura na ginagawa, na, na mention, hindi ko rin na mention yung ating uh, ginagawang museum, no? Ang ating uh, School of Living Tradition. Ang ating mga yung mga ginagawa na ho natin mga kalsada, uh, ngayon ho ay uh, patuloy po pinap pinapalaki ho natin. Before medyo very narrow. So medyo yung ating mga commuters, ang ating motorists ay uh, uh, medyo nahihirapan and they experience this uh, huge uh, horrendous uh, traffic and because of this uh, development na uh, we are now uh, observing the, uh, the the proper uh, you know the proper measurement of all of these uh, roads talaga hong uh, napakalaking uh, ambag doon sa development ng ating syudad and you, you have seen that yes. uh, we, we are also now uh, uh, constructing uh, a port sa ating uh, lugar because we have 39 municipalities and one city para ho yung kalakal ay mas ma mas maging accessible we are also uh, constructing the sewage treatment plant na napakaimportante po yan sa isang lugar dahil we have to uh, of course uh, protect our uh, environment such as of course the, the our uh, water no so isa ho sa nabigyan ng pagkakataon 
ay uh, and thanks to the national government itong pag, uh, pagpapagawa ng mga infrastruktur na ito na hindi pa natin nakikita sa ibang lugar so I would like to take this opportunity to thank our uh, president for the uh, support that he has given to Marawi City and of course the uh, the uh, task force bound Marawi headed by Secretary Rosario Okay, so we are going to look forward for that, Mayor. So hopefully my whole team uh, for Usuag Mindanao will be able to feature more about your city. And lastly, Mayor, or uh, can you also try to give us more message or any message for your constitu uh, constituents? Uh, of course, marami salamat po. At uh, ito po, I would like to take this opportunity na magbigay ho ng... Uh, uh, minsahe sa ating mga kababayan especially in uh, Lano del Sur and Marawi City. Alam po niyo bakit ho sinasama ang, uh, sinasama ang Lano del Sur because ang Marawi City ho, yun po ang convergence lahat ng mga tao sa buong Lano del Sur so that uh, kailangan ho na maging maayos ang ating syudad nang sa ganon ay hindi na ho kailangan pang uh, pumunta sa ibang lugar kundi Kailangan na yung mga lahat ng mga importanteng uh, infrastruktura, lahat ng mga importanteng pangangailangan ng ating mga kababayan from Lano del Sur ay makikita natin sa Marawi City. So with this, uh, talaga hong dapat suporta natin yung ating uh, uh, pag-reconstruct uh, and rehabilitate uh, sa Marawi City. And also, uh, kailangan hong natin na uh, suportahan ang ating uh, gobyerno, ang ating security forces. Hindi lang hong ang mga kapulisan o kasundaluhan ang dapat mag-maintain ng ating peace and order kundi tayo hong mamamayan ng Lano del Sur and Marawi City. We have to, of course, continue observing discipline kasi yun ho ang magbibigay ng uh, uh, development o swag sa ating lugar dahil uh, kung wala hong disiplina, ay wala hong uh, development. So napaka-importante po na ipagpatuloy ng ating mga kababayan yung mga uh, ginagawa natin ngayon dahil yun po ang tama, yun po ang tamang gawin at ipakita ho natin sa ating mga kapitbahay na tayo pong mga Maranao, tayo pong mga Muslim ay uh, kapareha nila na uh, uh, nag-observe ng uh, lahat ng mga pinapatupad ng batas ng ating uh, bansa, nag-observe ng mga discipline. Tayo po ay hindi ho kaiba sa kanila. We are the same uh, at tayo po ay Pilipino. At uh, yan po ang aking panawagan sa ating mga kababayan. Napaka uh, ang mga Maranao po ay very resilient. Nakita naman po ninyo sa dami ng uh, dinanas namin mga challenges. Hindi lang itong pandemya, but because uh, the, the Marawi siege ay uh, uh, napakabilis ang aming uh, pagbangon. Very resilient people. So yan po ang tatak ng Marawi, tatak ng Maranao. Yan po ang gusto kong makita in the succeeding years na tayo po ay nandito sa Marawi City. Alright, and also Mayor, any message for the show for Usuag Mindanao? Ay, ako po ay napaka-palad. Na, napaka Very fortunate na nabigyan ng pagkakataon na maibahagi sa inyo ang ating uh, ang nangyayaring development sa Marawi City, ang nangyayaring mga challenges sa Marawi City. Dahil alam ko po ang Usuag Mindanao, ang kanilang, uh, uh, of course, ang kanilang uh, purpose is that uh, to showcase the uh, Di, di, uh, yung mga magagandang uh, nangyayari sa bawat lugar dito ho sa Mindanao in terms of uh, uh, physical infrastructures, in terms of uh, social, uh, kung ano yung mga, anumang uh, magagandang uh, uh, nangyayari sa iba't ibang lugar ng Mindanao. At uh, I would like to, uh, of course, uh, take this opportunity to uh, express my profound uh, gratitude na kahit pa paano, in a very uh, short span of time, ay nagpakita natin na ang Marawi City po ay bumabangon ngayon. At uh, kailangan po namin ng uh, tulong. Kailangan po natin ng uh, suporta ng hindi lang po ng ating gobyerno, but as well as our neighboring uh, cities and uh, localities. In terms of, uh, you know, uh, uh, patronizing our uh, city, in terms of uh, infusing investment, uh, and rest assured that we can uh, protect your investment, at rest assured that we can protect you when you uh, pag, pag kayo ay nasa Marawi. All right, thank you very uh, much for that. So again, we are also very much privileged and grateful, Mayor, for for you to for you to be here live on our studio. And hopefully, Mayor, we can uh, create more documentaries for Marawi City uh, in the next few days, so we can share to everyone, to the world, kung gano kaganda, kung gano ka develop yung city mo, kung gano uh, kaganda ang mga resources na dapat i-share for everyone, so that they can also 
uh, explore more about Marawi. So again, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Mayor Mahul Gandamra of the Islamic City of Marawi, and we'll be right back Thanks for a, a short commercial break.